Hello, everyone. It's Steve with Aptair Owners Club. Um, Curtis, whose YouTube username is Oopsie, made a um, Google Sheets document that goes over some range estimates, and he recently updated it with information from Aptera's latest battery video. So now we have a little bit more information about what kind of battery cells they're using and what their configuration is and such. And so um, it's been updated, and I thought there was something very interesting by looking at this. I'll link this in the description, and also I'll link uh, his uh, referral link in the description. So if you guys want to order an Aptera, use his referral link. Um, for for making this uh, cool google sheets for us but here's the interesting thing with the new calculation so we know that they're probably using these samsung um, 2170 cells and we know the mass of them and we know the number that they're using for the 40 kilowatt hour uh, battery pack and if we these these there's a lot of assumptions built into this uh this spreadsheet and basically the assumption is is we're we're thinking that the uh, 60 kilowatt level is going to be around 1800 um, pounds roughly and so without the driver so this is roughly about 1900 uh, pounds and that's the calculation so we we're saying that the shell the assumption is that the base weight the shell minus the battery weight is going to be 1200 pounds roughly that's probably correct with plus or minus 100 to 200 pounds and then if you calculate the amount, so the number of batteries and the battery weight is calculated. So we know the number of battery cells. There are six modules and there are 416 uh, cells per module at this weight. Um, and then you add 18% to take into account like the battery pan and the bus bars and the sides and the BMS and all that other stuff. And so this is a, this is speculation as well, but that seems like a reasonable estimate. And then um, the percentages go down because some of the things don't have to be repeated per each cell. So you'll have some uh, economies of scale as you get to a bigger battery. So there's the pack weight overhead is a little bit less as you get to a bigger battery. But anyways, with these assumptions, what you get is a battery weight of about 450 pounds for the 40 kilowatt um, level. And then at a 60 mile per hour vehicle speed, this will give you a range of 415 miles. And the 25 will give you 290 close to and then 650 and then a thousand miles to get this thousand mile range you actually need to uh, get a battery that is um 130 kilowatt hours and that gives you 123 kilowatt hours of usable battery and that is assuming 18 modules or the cell equivalent of having 18 modules of 416. We don't know exactly how many modules they have. They'll have maybe there'll be six modules. There'll just be more cells uh, in parallel. Who knows? This is speculation. But the rough number of cells for that needed to get a thousand miles at this range is probably fairly accurate. And here's where the big issue is. Look at the battery weight on this thing. The battery weight on the 100 kilowatt level is more than the base weight of the entire vehicle and actually the battery weight alone approximates the battery weight the entire weight of the vehicle plus the battery of the 25 kilowatt level that's insane this thing is a ridiculously heavy vehicle compared to the standard aptera so you can see it's almost it's over a thousand pounds heavier than the 25 kilowatt level now you can change some assumptions here if you brought brought this down to 45 miles per hour so we'll go across here and go to 45 miles per hour okay so if you change the 45 then you see the range um this goes to almost 400 miles this goes to almost 600 miles this goes to 900 miles this goes to 1300 miles so perhaps they're going to not use this many batteries maybe we're looking at like 15 of these and then that gives you a hundred kilowatt level and that still gives you about a thousand miles so maybe this is the weight that they're going with maybe they're doing they're basing it on a vehicle speed of closer to 50 miles per hour and then that would make 
sense with the battery pack size that they're making, which is 100 kilowatt here. And let, let's drop this down to nine, six, uh, 60 kilowatt here, 40 kilowatt here. And then uh, this is 25. So, you know, this, this might have to go to like, okay, this is going to be a little funky because you're, you're not going to have 0.5 modules. But this is just to get the cell count, right? So there. So if we change that, then we get these numbers. And then let's see, let's change this to 50. So when when you when I link this uh, spreadsheet, if you want to play with the numbers, all you have to do is go here and just say make a copy, and then you can modify your copy to your heart's content. So this gives you this amount of range, and this gives you a little bit of a more reasonable uh, battery size. Uh, Twenty uh, two thousand about a thousand pound, eleven hundred pound battery, and then two thousand four hundred forty pound vehicle still very heavy i think the vehicle dynamics between uh the the smaller ones and this one will be totally different i mean it's a it's a completely different vehicle in terms of weight and vehicle dynamics okay so there's that there is this other document made by tom bushaw and i will uh link his referral code in the description as well so use him as his as well um so pick one of the two that you want to use if you're gonna um, order a vehicle but this is a really amazingly good write-up um, and he goes through the pack modules and stuff and what's interesting is um, so yeah here's the in the Aptera video you can see there's six modules and there's the battery pan and what he did is he counted the holes here and you see 13 cells this way and 32 cells this way that lines up that's 13 times uh, 32 is 416 so that's exactly right and then if you show that the uh, structure, there's no space in between here, and you know the diameter of this thing, you can kind of estimate the size of this module, which he did. And so you get the size of the modules, which is um, 24 centimeters by 59 centimeters. And then if you arrange that in the six, uh, in the in the six module battery pack as in the video you get a, a pack size that's 33.64 inches by 26.52 inches now this number is probably fairly accurate that is fairly accurate and if you look at this overlay of the battery it shows that this 40 kilowatt level basically fills the entire pan of this presumed uh, battery pack uh, area on the Aptera. Now, if you expand this to give pack capacities of these numbers, and I would think that you're going to have pack capacities that are actually a little bit bigger than this, because to get 60 kilowatts of usable battery, you're going to get, you're going to need a little overhead, probably 66. This is probably going to be 110. This is probably going to be like 28. Because um, the 40 kilowatt is actually 43.94. But if you look at this, the 25 kilowatt battery fits no problem. The 40 kilowatt battery fits, but it fills up this almost the entire proposed space. The 60 kilowatt level does not fit. It just it goes beyond the proposed area. And here's why that's a problem. See, the um, the battery pack starts here. And it goes to here and the 100 kilowatt level is supposed to have a little part that goes diagonally up behind the seat so it lays like this uh the advantage of this is it's got low center of gravity now i realized by looking at this picture the aptera will not have quite as low a center of gravity as the other skateboard evs because their batteries lay like this flat along the floor and this one's kind of angled up a little bit so it's a slightly higher center of gravity i don't know that's gonna make a big difference but it's a little bit higher. But anyway, the 60 kilowatt level would go like into here. And that would encroach far into the uh, trunk space and the where the suspension, the rear suspension is going to end up. That's a, that's a problem. And the 100 kilowatt level just doesn't fit at all. Even like even if you put one up here, it encroaches back in here. So the way that this is configured, if they're using these battery cells, and, and you know, it's fairly certain that they are, it just doesn't fit. The only way I think it works 
is it's possible that this outline used in their video is not a very accurate outline of where they're placing the battery. It may be, this area might be wider. Maybe it's wider by another 10, 20 inches. Then you could fit this 40 kilowatt transversely and it would fit kind of like this. But if you look at the Aptera, it is curved along here. So it can't go all the way out to the edge of this door. But we don't know exactly how wide it is. Yeah, if you look at it, it's, it's curved at the bottom. There's cur a curve here. And I think this is the battery pan in the Alpha vehicles. But of course, they're using a very, very small battery in the Alpha vehicles. So with this curved belly pan, we don't know exactly how much of this space is usable. I suspect it's wider than is being given by this outline. But from Tom's calculations, and I think that this battery pack size is very accurate, we know that fitting the 100 kilowatt battery pack in the Aptera is going to be a difficult engineering problem. The 60 kilowatt, I think they can make it fit. The 40 and the 25 fit, no problem. The 100 kilowatt, I'm very interested to see how they're going to fit that thing in there. It is a monster of a battery to fit in a car this size. And um, I, I hold fast to my uh, initial impression that the 100 kilowatt battery is something that's good for marketing. And it's cool to say that you have a 1,000 mile range vehicle. I don't know how actually practical it is. And I think that the driving dynamics of this car will be completely different. And I'm interested to see how they're going to fit the thing in there. And I don't know how viable this battery is in, in practical terms. The sweet spot, I think, is the 40 kilowatt, which is why they're producing that first. And I think that this will be the best seller for sure. Most people could get away with this, but since getting 40 kilowatts isn't a big jump in price and you get so much more range i think this is the sweet spot this is like if you need something that needs a lot of range this is uh, in my opinion a little ridiculous all right well tell me what you guys think about this how is aptera going to fit this 100 kilowatt battery in here do you think it's going to be wider or you think they're going to stack them on top of each other and make it uh, thicker i don't know that they have space for that um my guess is it's wider i think it's significantly wider okay well uh so yeah tell me what you guys think in the comments and um i'd like to thank our supporting members uh, we have the 100 kilowatt level members enoch brian jaron john go climb a rock hans and abby Oh, and if you guys are the 100 kilowatt members, go to the community tab of the channel. There's a post in there. I need some information from you guys. And then the 40 kilowatt levels, Curtis, this is, um, he made the uh, Google Sheets. Jeremy, Tom, and Tom did that uh, great write up. Dean, Adimchi, Dino Buddy, Neil, Uncle George, Don, Paul, Harry, Paul Ree, and our 25 kilowatt members. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching um, and have a great day.